Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. This is the Sunday show where I take you through 10 of my best sold sales items on eBay. Now, should be a good episode today because we've got $50 plus sales items, the big guys, the ones that you want to be looking out for, hopefully finding yourself, hopefully going on to resell yourself on eBay. Now, I've had a pretty good week myself so far. 45 sold sales items, $1,545 in total revenue, a net cash flow position there, $852. So, it's been a pretty decent week. We're going to go through those $50 plus items, but before we do, let me know in the comments below, what was your best sold sales item of the week? I always love to hear it. Drop it into the comments. Let's get into the first item. First item up is a DVD complete series. Uh, this one was Friday Night Lights. Uh, a lot of you may have heard of this show, very popular TV show. It's gone on to sell for $50. Now, the issue with this one though, was it had a 195 day sales cycle and I did buy it in a trip to the thrift uh, for $18. So it was quite a large expense. I remember in that video, a lot of you said, I wouldn't have bought it, Matt, for $18. And you're probably right. I probably won't do it again. But I did hold out. I did get the $50 price point, uh, take out fees and post. And um, I ended up getting a $17.18 profit. So look, at the end of the day, $17 for a DVD is a profit. It's not the end of the world. It's still a pretty great result. But I did have to hold around for it 195 days to get the result. Now here's a shoe brand that I have found for the very first time, and if you can find it as well, you'll go on to sell for some great money. The comps are incredible on eBay, but like I said, they're a tough one to find. The brand is OnCloud. Uh, they've gone on to sell for $75 for me. It's a, a European brand, um, a really great pair of running shoes. These are in about nine out of 10 condition. Um, $75 takeout fees and postage, $48.43 for these used pair of women's running shoes. So I was really happy to get the turnaround in two and a half weeks. I hope that I can find the brand again because I just know that it'll go on to sell. And uh, yeah, $8 was the cost uh, in the op shop. So all in all, this one was a fantastic result. I just wish I could find a few more of them. Now this was only two weeks ago that I found this one. Now, I love the brand myself personally and half the time that's the battle. Just go and find things that you like to wear yourself and it will generally go on to make some money when you put it on eBay. So the brand here was Stussy. Now I've been able to sell this jumper, it was a button up. Um, it was nylon and wool, which is a whole lot better than your standard cotton. Uh, had a hood on it as well and the condition was great. So I went $55, I got the full asking price and like I said, two week turnaround on this one, a very quick space of time. Postage, $10, I put it into a medium satchel but I profited $30.75 on a single item of clothing. So I think when you can be profiting about 30 bucks on a single item, you're gonna to continue to look for that brand. So I thought I'd put it into the video for that reason. Definitely keep an eye out for Stussy, it goes on to sell for some great money. Now I was a little bit surprised about the sales cycle on this one. We're talking 199 days. Sometimes you gotta hold out for some good profit, but it was one that I actually thought would sell a little bit sooner, just given the time of the year. They were the Ugg boots. Now these Ugg boots were in great condition. They had been worn, there was some noticeable wear, but there were no tears or holes or anything like that. So I bought these for $10 in an op shop and 200 days ago, we were leading into winter. So I actually thought they would turn around a whole lot quicker than they did. Fortunately, before winter has ended, they have gone on to sell. So I am very pleased about that. $59.99 was the sale price guys. Postage of $12, the fees were $9 and the profit there of $28.99. So Ugg boots, if you can find the Ugg boot brand, they go on to sell for some great money. And I did have to hold out for this one at $59.99. But uh, if you can find those nice woolen uh, Ugg boots, you'll, you'll generally go on to do pretty well with it. So uh, happy to get the return there, a $10 purchase in the op shop, converting into a $60 sale on eBay. Now this one came out of my favorite episode of A Trip to the Thrift three weeks ago where I found the Jordan 4s and I've held onto the Jordan 4s. They're gonna be mine for a fair while, I dare say, but these were the other pair of shoes that I found. These were the Nike Air Force One Lunarons. I paid $55 for these guys. They were brand new shoes in the thrift, but I thought for $55, I could still make a decent dollar on them. They've ended up going on to sell for 135 bucks, which I'm blown away by. I think that's a fantastic result. $12 was the shipping method with this one. Now, this one went into a Nike box that I had lying around the house. Um, and then I just I just um, sticky taped that up and then sent it away. Ended up being $15, take off a few dollars with the My Post discount. I just think with shoes that are of brand new condition, it's better to put them in a box than a satchel. So that's what I went ahead and did with this one. So I was a little bit more in postage the normal, but I was okay with that. 47.75 was the profit at the end of the day, guys. A three week turnaround. Don't be afraid to spend a little bit more, like the $55 for a pair of shoes I would never normally do, when you know you can get the good turnaround. 47.75, what a great result. Now, something a little bit different here, guys, and I am still continuing to purchase the item, but only when I can find it in brand new condition. It was a board game. We've got the Great Australian Road Trip board game. This was brand new and sealed. And the reason I buy brand new and sealed is there are too many pieces 
when it comes to puzzles and board games for you to believe that you have a complete set if you were buying it in used condition. You would really need to spend some time to make sure that you've got the right item, uh, all the correct items uh, if you're buying it in used. So for that reason, I just prefer to only deal with brand new. This was a brand new board game. Happy to pay the $10 in the thrift for it. It's gone on to sell for 55 bucks. So a little bit slower of a sales cycle, 72 day turnaround with this one. The postage of $12 to get it out the door. Uh, fees of $8, I've ended up profiting $24.75. So a board game that sells for $55 on eBay, brand new condition. I think it's a bolo. I think it's one for you guys to look out for. I've only come across it the once, but if you do find it, it's definitely worth buying. Now I am having a lot of fun with my death pole demolition, guys. I have punching this out over the next 30 days and it is going very well for me. A lot of them are DVDs. I bought 500 DVDs off Facebook Marketplace for 250 bucks, 50 cents a DVD. You'd be amazed at what the comps are on some of these items. I've ended up finding a stack of 20 to $30 DVDs. This one that I'm putting into the video today has already gone on to sell on a same day sales cycle. An unbelievable return and a bolo DVD for you guys to be looking out for. The DVD is The Magician. And The Magician has gone on to sell for $70. It has worked its magic for me. I like the way I did that. $70, bucks, 4 dollars 50 worth of postage, uh, $10.50 worth of fees, and the profit there of $54.50. Um, same day turnaround. What a ridiculous result, guys. $250 for 500 DVDs bought off Marketplace. And one of them goes on to sell for $70. Bucks. If you're not out there hunting down DVDs, you should be. Another really great brand for you guys to be looking out for if you're a new shoe seller. The brand is Merrill, um, typically a hiking type of a shoe. Um, so these women's hiking shoes, I bought them for $6 and I know whenever I see the brand that you're gonna get a really great price on eBay. So $50, a pretty standard return there for a pair of shoes for me. Uh, the postage of $7.32 for $29.18. This is a very stock standard model of how I like to typically buy my shoes. Around that five to $10 little price point, sell them for 50 bucks, postage fees, $30 profit. Um, 101 day sales cycle on this one though. I don't think that's a typical sales cycle for the brand of Merrill. I think you can actually get a quicker sales cycle. I think that it was just going into winter when I bought these shoes as to the reason why it's taken a little bit longer to sell. But now that we're heading into the summertime, no wonder these ones have popped up. If you do find it over the next few months, it's definitely gonna go on to make you some money. The ever reliable Levi 501s were the next ones that went on to sell, guys. If you watched my video on Tuesday, I, I kind of held myself back. I went out into the thrift and I did that mainly for a bit of an education piece for the video that I was doing. But I ended up buying one item and that was this item, the Levi Strauss 501s. I bought them for $12 if you remember watching that video. And they've already gone on to sell in a three-day sales cycle for 60 bucks. So exactly almost what I said in the video, I believe. I think I might have said 60 or 70. Um, took a best offer, listed them for 70, took a $60 sale and uh, the postage of 732, the fees of $9, $31.68, walking into an op shop for two minutes. So there's some great money there in the Levi Strauss brand, guys. If you can find the 501s, I will say though with jeans, you've really got to be careful because there are a lot of fakes out there. Now I'm no expert in determining what a fake jean is versus what a real jean is, but there are a lot of great YouTube videos out there that can educate you on it. So if you're wanting to get into denim, I definitely recommend jumping on YouTube and just searching in how to tell about a fake or a real pair of jeans. Um, that'll go on to help you out. But uh, 3168, three day sales cycle, Levi Strauss 501, you can't go wrong. Now golf goes on to sell really well. Anything golf, if you're talking clubs, if you're talking clothing, talking shoes, it all goes on to sell well. I found a really great pair of Nike Lunaron golf shoes uh, not too long ago. Mind you though, I actually only listed them up yesterday and they sold yesterday. It was the same day turnaround, these shoes, ridiculous. Leather, US size 11, so a great size for a pair of shoes. Um, I bought them for $10 a couple of weeks ago and I was gonna give them to a mate of mine. Didn't fit him, so I ended up whacking onto eBay yesterday and it sold yesterday for 60 bucks. So really great turnaround there, guys. Fees of postage, $33.68. Again, a bit of a blueprint model with how I like to do my shoes, but if you are looking for anything in golf, the golfing section, the golfing category, sport of golf, uh, you're going to do well, guys. So I'm really happy with that. On a same day sale, Nike, it always sells well for me. So there you go, guys. They were my 10 best sold sales items of the week that sold for over the $50 price point. So some great items out there for you guys to go on the lookout for. Now I'm doing a death pile demolition currently, so I'm not really sourcing too much. I'm listing a stack of items out of my death pile, mainly DVDs. But if you're curious about how I'm going about nailing my death pile, I've got a video right here for you guys to go and check out now. It was a vlog that I did a couple of weeks ago and it was a good one. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks for tuning into this one, guys. We'll see you soon.